Alright, Ophelia, you were the first one to notice there is another undead shambling through your doorway. Can I turn around and deck him too? You certainly can. You've got a corpse in front of you at the moment. You have to kind of step over it or... I thought he was closer to me. Never mind. We'll go ahead and take it right now as I believe initiative is stated in the order we have you guys with the beat knight being in front of Tepi. So technically speaking, Ophelia, you can actually see through the door at the end of the hallway. So what do I see? It's that little room you were ushered in where all of your weapons would have been confiscated. And there seems to be one more undead. Okay, well, can I jump over this corpse and nail the guy that's at the doorway so I can get my weapons? Certainly. Since you said jump, roll uh, acrobatics. Excuse Language. me, sorry. Fourteen. All right, you easily do so. Nimble as ever, and you are right up in its grill. To your attack roll now. 18. Alright, that's an obvious hit. What are you using to attack? Just my fist, because that's all I have. Alright. Mm, roll undefined damage. 1d6. No, d6. 8. Alright. A good sock right to the face. This thing takes about 10 damage. Is it dead? No. It kind of recoils a bit because you literally, like, broke its nose, but that's about it. Actually, yeah, it is dead. It is dead? Stop. It's a zombie. Ha. <laughs> True. True that. Technically, it's undead. You need to make it re-dead. Well, Kyrie's turn. She's actually gonna urge up here and look back to you, Elric, and tell you we're getting out of here. Let's go. No arguments. As everyone accounts for, she is, in fact, the one with the gemstone that you were all hired to get. And she's going to do her best to try and get around everybody, but she's going to stop short of Ophelia here, waiting for an opportunity to get by. Elric? I'm going to get closer and, like, right by the corpse of uh, the, the one that just fell. Okay. You can get up, like, right next to Kyrie here. Okay. Or there, wherever. Can I aim between them and fire a bolt? There's enough space, you believe so. A bolt of? Magic. Ba basic variant of magic missile? Certainly. I got a 12. Do you actually have to roll for that? For, uh, oh, wait, no, I forgot. Magic Missile just hits. I have to roll damage. Correct. And the zoom type. Thank you. Ophelia is still allergic to dust. Yes, it's it is. It's early. I'm still stupid. It's still very dusty. And magic was light. This one's... No, magic is 2d10. Right. It just fell on the floor. I hear all sorts of dice. Yeah, I had to dig out the D10. Four and three is seven. 
All right. A total of 21 damage. This thing, a bolt of multicolored magic, once again, spurts out from your outstretched arm, perfectly aimed, and strikes this thing right around the neck. You almost sever its head as this thing practically collapses with a fizzle and pop of magic with it. Ophelia, you do not know what just happened, but this thing just shot magic and exploded practically. And unfortunately, I cannot click on the proper icon because it's off the screen. It crumbles before you. It's dead. I don't care. I just step over it and continue towards my weaponry. Okay, we will call you outside the room right now. With no more immediate danger, the Beat Knight will do his best to usher Tepi along with him. You guys collectively make it out into this room. There is, in fact, one undead here. He is facing the wall and not doing anything, just staring at the wall. There is your table full of confiscated items. The chairs have been overthrown like anyone in here got out in a rush. You all collectively collect your items unless you say otherwise. And with that, the front door is open. It is not locked or closed in the least bit. Book it. Alright. As we adjust our sets, do not panic. It should be dark. Alright. Well, I am confirming. One moment. Or I can confirm everything is dark. Okay. As soon as you step outside, you get this sudden feeling that it has... Well, it's nighttime, but that shouldn't be from the time you've been here. It should hardly be dinner time. It shouldn't be this dark. Upon adjusting your sight, I'm going to give you about this much right now. It is just so dark from the clouds you can actually peer off in the horizons and see just about you know as expected uh, mid to late afternoon darkness but no more importantly there's a giant pillar of red light beaming up from amidst where you guess the necromancer was creating literally a maelstrom of clouds that is blocking out the sun over top of this town the wind is howling, kicking up dust galore. It is exceptionally dusty outside. But more importantly, you, your ears are met with the screams and terror of the chaos that has erupted throughout the town. As well as, you are suddenly hit with a slight tremor as the ground is also shaking. Kyrie immediately takes her notice, gets her bearings... It shouts, we either need to he head east or head north. We need to get out of here. I look at the compass. The compass points north. I say we should go north. She says, no objections, and pass practically sprints past you, almost knocking you guys down. I book it after. All right. I follow. Alright, we're still keeping same initiative. We're actually Apparently. doing movement now. You can move 5 or 10 if you run. It is immediate. You can see undead everywhere. You can see corpses of townsfolk everywhere. It is a mess as expected. Ophelia, you are first. to ignore the undead unless I see uh, someone getting attacked. 
Alright, so you can move 5 if you want to also do an action, or you can move 10 if you try and run. I will be safe and move 5. Alright, please pick your 5 squares from your current position. I head up towards beside... It was four squares. Oh. And then I get in front of her. Okay. You immediately see some undead off to the sides, crawling through the brush and the brambles. But nothing takes immediate effect. The way I'm going to work this for you guys is I will have you move as you please. If you get within one or two squares of an undead or anything of a threat... It may try to engage you. Okay. Kyrie's gonna play it safe right now as well and book it five. One, two, three, four, five. Going diagonal is also one square. Don't be afraid. Okay. Elric? I'm gonna book it five. As of right now, the Beat Knight actually is going to help Tepi like he's injured. Tepi is not denying this. He's letting it happen. It's about right here. Tepi seems exceptionally frightened. The Beat Knight seems pretty okay. That will put us back at the top with Ophelia. Okay. You can I'm going to go ahead and try and make a run for it and go ten spaces. Okay. Let me figure out where ten spaces would be. You can pass over a token, no worries. Without trying to move around people. Alright, you... I'll give you a little bit more vision real quick. You are immediately running straight towards a guard that is engaging with an undead. Okay. And in this entire dust storm, you stop short as the guard pulls his halberd axe right out of like the shoulder of this undead, and it immediately turns towards you. This one will actively try and grasp for you since you basically ran up and realized, oh, I'm right in front of these things. I'll try to decapitate it. You can't. You did. You ran. Well, spaces. you ran. Does a 16 hit your AC? Barely. Barely. All right. So we're going to be light damage. As this thing's kind of half recoiling from an axe to the shoulder. And we'll just go with... Four... And three... That's still... Thirty-five damage. This thing lashes out with unnaturally long fingernails. And it gives a very good sharp cut to your face and part of your shoulder. Very unexpected for just an undead. Kyrie's going to notice what is happening and completely ignore it and try to book around ten more spaces. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. She'll make it all the way up here. Elric? Elric, you notice um, Kyrie is keeping tabs on you and you alone. Like every movement she makes, she looks back to make sure you're still there. I'm going to book five. Okay. 
and try and magic bolt the zombie that Ophelia is currently engaged in. Uh, okay, with. fair enough. Alright. Five. And one is six. Okay, that was magic. Yep. Eighteen. This thing crumples once more as it was on the verge of the ropes with this guard. It once again be dead. Not having time for you, this guard quickly spins around and engages the crawling zombie behind it that is lurking up behind everybody. Beat Knight and Tempe will try and book it ten spaces. Beat Knight is ushering this poor little overclothed child between the danger around everybody. Alright, we are back to Ophelia. Mind you guys, we're not in, in quite a panic jog. There is pandemonium going on, but it's pretty much spread out as the tokens are. Um, you are free to talk and converse if need be and do whatever else you guys feel. Alright. Ophelia, give me a small acrobatics check if you do wish to vault this fissure. Considering she's doing it at a run, this shouldn't be too difficult. Shouldn't. I'll give you uh, advantage. An advantage on 19 is not necessary. No problem. You didn't even know you ran over this fissure. You just kind of look back and realize, oh, there's a huge crack in the ground. <laughs> Her running is apparently just leaps and bounds, literally. Practically, yes. Kyrie's going to book it about 5 and do her check. And play it safe since she knows she can't jump it and move it to the side. Oh. She failed her acrobatics. Mm. She stumbled right up as she ran up to it. Correct. She's going to spend her turn to gather herself real quick. Make sure she doesn't do anything <laughs> stupid. And as always, looks back for Elric. I'm going to book ten. Okay. One, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right up at the. You stop short, just like Kyrie. Yeah. Eight, nine. Tappy will keep up pace. One, two, three, four, five, six. They both have to roll a check. Beat night. Stop short just like everybody, not sure if he can vault this at the slowish pace they were going. Tempe completely fails, and if the Beat Knight was not holding on to him, would probably tumble straight into the fissure. Alright, Ophelia, you are on this other side. Everyone was claiming to go north, but you may go as you please. Let me give you some more vision. In this moment of haste, Kyrie's going to shout something about, didn't you say you had a dragon? Yeah, I do. Um. That would be very helpful right about now, she shouts out. I don't know if it can carry... 
It doesn't Five need... people. I scream at you. It doesn't need to carry. You just need to be able to blast these things. Ugh. Am I going to get yelled at for whistling for it? I think we're beyond that right now. She points to a nearby undead. As long as you don't fail to pull it out of your pocket. Can Fine. Do you need a whistle? Can you do it by mouth? She shouts out. Yeah, I can. Then do it! Fine. Actually, I a really loud whistle. I need you to roll a performance check. 19. All right. The fanciest whistle you will ever hear. It rings out, but is slightly muffled by the sounds around everything. But there is no response. It's probably not going to be instantaneous. I just look around to make sure I didn't draw any attention from undead. As far as you can tell, the normal chaos ensues. Nothing in particular is aiming for you guys. Okay. I suppose it's my turn, right? It is still your turn, yes. Oh. There's like a minor action. Uh. I'll just jump over the crater again and head, keep heading north. Acrobatics. Only gotta beat a 10. 15. Perfect. Does the, cra does the crater count as a space? Technically speaking, the lines that it's on, uh, you can direct me and I can double check for you. Ophelia, there are some guards running about the streets right here in an obvious panic. Yes, panic noises like that. Like a microphone adjustment. I just kind of ignore them and wait for, my, wait for everyone else. Carrie's going to go around, but she's going to sprint ten. Two, three, four, five, six. Pass the guard, seven, eight, nine, and stop here. Hell, Rick? I'm gonna try and vault straight over the crevice and book at ten. Are you are you jumping the long ways, or are you gonna have to do two jumps over the side here? Uh, the long ways. Okay. Acrobatics. Hoping it likes you as much as it likes me. Yeah. Uh, that'd be a no, that's a two. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Your dice likes me better. Since you rolled a two, I'm actually going to need you to roll... Oh, let's see, which one would this be best for? Either just a stand-up, st standard saving throw, or give me... Give me acrobatics again. Um... That's a five. Which one did you roll? Acrobatics again. Okay. As you lift off, the last foot leaving the ground slips on some loose gravel on the edge of this fissure. And you don't get the kickoff you need. And you slam with your chest on the other side of the fissure, hanging on to the pavement. There is nothing but darkness below, but you are immediately met with a slight updraft of wind. You can only imagine what has caused these fissures. But you are now currently hanging on, like waist deep in this fissure. Well, the Beat Knight's gonna rush Teppy up to here. And we'll take one, two, three moves around, and we'll help you up. Hopefully with a very good strength check of 18. And we'll easily do so, as that is far above what is needed. And then spend one space heading back for Tepi. The Beat Knight will make some sort of comment about leaving no one behind. Tippy's actually going to try it. I, I scream, go the shorter route. Before you can get that out of your mouth, Tippy has leapt. This easy little 
Israel, 13. And since it's still his move, is going to try the larger fissure. And almost hits a nat 1, but <laughs> hits a 19 and leaps over no problem. Gives you a thumbs up. Back to Ophelia as Kyrie is looking like she's ready to run back and help this person who almost fell in a hole. The sky is a maelstrom of chaos with a gigantic beam of light. There is nothing else in the sky. It's okay. doomsday right now. Quite a beautiful day. Quite a beautiful sight, given the circumstances. Hey, Shrug. I would have much rather my dragon not show up anyways. It's too dangerous. I want to book it ten spaces. Count it. Go out. Got to stop right here and roll me an acrobatics. Unless you want to worm around anywhere. Nah, I'll just jump it again. Okay. Thirteen. Easy done. You're right here. You notice this is a very large fissure cutting straight through the road. Now, there are houses. You are in the residential area. It is possible to go around if need be, but it is your choice. Yeah, I'll just go around. Alright, there's a small little market booth, like a stall, right here you can go through or around. I'll go around. Okay, keep continue counting out your spaces, I forget where you're at. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, eight, nine, ten. So I'll be right here. Okay, there's a small little house right here that you're right up against. That's all the moves I got. All right, Tyree's gonna pretty much do the same. Only roll a three and get her foot stuck, as this is the smaller of the gaps we've seen so far. She's currently got her foot jammed. Elric! I'm going to try and book it ten spaces. Okay. Right up to the line. Mm hmm. That's exactly ten? No, that's uh, seven. Oh, uh, okay. Or, that's eight, sorry, eight. Alright. You obviously see Kyrie trying to pull her foot loose. Mm -hmm. You do need to roll in acrobatics if you wish to cross this little gap. I do. Fifteen. Easy done. So I'm over here now. Can I just okay. pull her out? You can give me a quick strength check. Unless you want to do something specific. No. And that's an eighteen. Easy done. She is now free. And then my remaining two spaces. Okay. Alright, eight. Hold on. Beat. Nine. I have one space. Alright. Beat Knight's gonna urge Teppy again. Eight, nine. And they're bringing up the rear. Beat Knight will jump it. Flawlessly. Teppy will jump it. With an eight. Make it. He finds one space. I'm going to put Teppy right here, but he has made it. Back to Ophelia. You are almost out of the residential area. Um, since it appears as though outside of the little pockets is the smaller section of the gaps. Hmm? I'm going to go ahead and try to jump the small little, small-ish little gap. Okay. Roll? Yeah. Eleven? We're trying right here? Yes. 
Yes, 11 will work. So that's one, two spaces. I do fine. Child's play. She, she's bored. You still have one more gap to jump. I'll jump the tiny little gap. And not be so lucky. I got a four. A four? No, you get your foot stuck. Ground crumbles underneath your foot ever so slightly. It looked like it was solid, but it wasn't. Correct. Maybe he's gonna go this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do a quick hop. Eight. Hop. Nine, ten, and start running between houses over here. I'm going to go one, two, need to try and jump that. With an 11, just barely. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Three, four. Uh, help Ophelia. Strength. Strength check with a minus one modifier is 19, so minus one is 18. No problem. Thank you. I need to do an acrobatics to jump the gap. Fourteen. Easy done. Five. I accidentally put myself over Ophelia. Hold on. You're fine. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Stop. Ten. Stop. Stop short of nine. Oh, he's actually on the square. Okay. In your haste, you actually you almost run up straight behind this guard who was almost wildly swinging around, and kind of in the chaos amidst, he spins around and actively winds up to take a strike at you, like you surprised him. Mm hmm. So he's actively going to attack you. Okay. Has a ten work? No. All right, you kind of half see it running up, stopping short, so you kind of easily sidestep as his axe plunges into the ground, just like, just short of your feet. Takes him a second and realizes, oh my god, you're not undead. But he looks too panicked to really say anything. He kind of runs past you. We'll run over to this other guard. Well, I'll take that side. I'll use that sidestep as an extra. Is my uh, tenth space anyway? So okay. Beat Knight and Teppy do just fine, and hop over this small side. They are following Kyrie right now. It's back to Ophelia. I just take five steps and catch up to Elric. Okay. Alright, Kyrie's only going to take about six turns and stop right here, and she's got eyes back on you, Elric. To which it is your turn. I'm going to go five, so one, two, acrobatics. Fifteen for this one. can't use this die. That number is gone. I don't know what it is. What? And, and you use the other one. Thank you. I've got a 16. Alright. Just hardly cleared it. Damn. So it was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. Beat Knight and Teppy still doing very good, bringing up the rear. 
checks, and they're right where you stopped. Ophelia. It'd be your goal. Okay. I get up to the, where the beat night is, I need to, I want to try and jump. That okay. Five spaces. Okay, you need to be at 15. Exactly 15. Exactly 15. Just like Elric, you barely cleared it. And I'll have to stop short of Elric. You can be or, beside him. Yeah, the diagonal, remember? Oh, okay, well, then fine, I'll move right beside him. Kyrie's gonna make her jump. She'll move. She'll stay right there. Beat Knight! As clumsy. Ooh, pardon me, audience. Clumsy as he is. Makes a 12! And hops it. But this heavy great knight lands short like he previously did, Elric, and is kind of clutching onto the sides. But he looks like he's able to pull himself up. Happy does not want to move yet because he doesn't think he can jump with a beat knight in the way. Beat knight's going to try and use my action to roll strength and pull himself up. With a four, cannot do it and slips a little further. Happy's going to run over here and sizably look this. Even more difficult gap over and look to you guys like, what do I do? Jump! Without hesitation, rolls a nat one. <laughs> Teppy tries it with all his gumption and disappears into the <laughs> abyss below. Elric. All three of you were able to see the shock and horror on his face like a Wile E. Coyote cartoon as he realized he had nothing left to stand on. As he just disappears into the darkness below without a scream or a word. I thought he had it. No, you didn't, meanie. Ophelia, it is your go. The Beat Knight is hanging on for dear life right now. There's uh also a zombie that has noticed you. Um, I'm gonna try to avoid the zombie and go help the beat knight up. Okay. I just need to I just need you to roll strength for me. Eighteen? Perfect. Easily done. You help the beat knight to his feet. He very much thanks you and asks where Teppy is and looks around for him. Teppy tried to jump the gap. Did you say that aloud? I, to I tell him, Teppy tried to jump the gap across from you, but he did not make the jump. The Beat Knight hastily spins around and trudges back towards the abyss. He'll stop right here and look like he's preparing a swan dive. Kairi just stands there says, well, this should be interesting. I grab a hold of his armor. Stop! But we don't leave anyone behind! Well, technically we didn't leave him behind. He kind of fell. Then I shall fall too! Well, these two are doing their thing. I'm going to jump in the pit. The DM would ill-advise that, as it looks like death. Not, not even gonna worry about metagaming. DM would ill advise that. Then I want to bundle up several rations and drop it down the hole with a note saying, Please live. Hang on, let me rephrase this. Step back up to the. Let, st step back up just so like you were about to jump in. I'm not gonna let you do it. Okay. Roll perception to see what you see. 
Let's do that. Let's do this a different way. I rolled a five. All right. Other than just darkness, you happen to see the slight bits of hands. Things are beginning to crawl up through this fissure. And they do not look alive. Like, like a swarm of insects crawling through the woodwork of a house. As the dead rise from the catacombs below. Yes, ill-advised. Very much. Okay. Where do you stay back? Well, um, Ophelia, it's still technically your turn. I'll give you that as a minor action, but this zombie has caught on to you and um, obviously sees you. Oi. You can still move five more spaces if you want. Can I move and drag Beat Knight with me? You, I'll give you a minor action. You pulled the Beat Knight to safety. <laughs> okay. And stopped him from plunging into his doom. Okay. And something about watching Elric do second thoughts about jumping into his doom. Or who knows? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and move ten spaces. I, I'll give you five. Oh, sorry. I forgot I already moved. Yeah, I'll do five. Stop right there. Go ahead and roll me, and I'll just give you a dexterity as you're walking right between a guard who is firing arrows at this undead. Nonchalantly walking through a firing range. That's a natural one. Alright, you, you immediately get just struck upside the head with an arrow at point blank range. What happened? Exactly. You, you just took you, an arrow. You just walked in between a guard firing an arrow at an undead and just pff, just right to the temple. You, you've you been struck in the head by an arrow. Ow. Th this guard does not even know what to say. You just literally walked right in front of him and he just has this look of horror like, I, wh wh where did you come from? And this look of, oh my god, at the same time. Um, I'm not quite sure what to label this as damage. Um... I'm just going to go for light right now. Well, my skin is covered in dragon-type scales that are incredibly strong. So instead of blunt and undefined damage, I'll just do light. Okay, yeah. A arrow to the temple. That's a six, and that's another six. <laughs> Shit! Um... Ophelia, you take 60 damage. Elric, you just watch her walk through here. I'm dead. She, she just gets pegged in the head and just drops. You, you, are, you are currently at negative 5 right now. You are dying. If she hits negative 10, she is officially dead. <laughs> and everyone okay. just watched her do this. <laughs> yes. Everyone did just watch her do this. Technically, it's Kyrie's turn. She's going to book at 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I'm only going to give her... I'm gonna, sorry, I'm going to stop her 6 as I'm going to give her uh, two more spaces to warm around these undead and kind of step over this dead dragon lady who's currently right here. Well, the seemingly dead dragon lady. Um, Elric, it is your turn. As a minor action, since the Beat Knight has watched this, um, he is obviously gasped, um, but he, he is forthwith quickly handed you, like, literally a handful, a hefty handful, of uh, these unidentified herbs. Uh, I want to uh, try and identify them, as I know herbs. Okay, uh, roll whatever you think would help you, honestly. Knowledge. Well, that's a flat 15. That still does not work. These are the same, you would expect these are the same herbs he makes his tea out of, and just as before, you still can't figure out what the heck they are. A 
must be a custom breed. But these are the raw herbs of his special brand of tea. Well, then I approach and apply liberally liberally to the forehead and uh, shove it down her throat. Amidst this, the guard has somewhat sidestepped and still engaging his zombie. All right. Um, you managed to sustain her for now, but unless ingested or eaten or some other help... Ophelia, you're prone, but you're almost conscious. You got a searing headache, by the way. <laughs> Elric, I will still allow you to do something else if need be. But there is an undead who has noticed you. I keep shoving herbs down her throat. Okay. You want to roll strength since you use the word shoving? Yes. <laughs> I will. Go ahead. Uh, 16. Uh, you're just mashing her full of herbs. You're, you're just about to choke her with herbs until she comes to. Um. I feel you are violently awoken by someone <laughs> trying to force feed you. But for some reason, you feel better. <laughs> You're about at 40 health right now, but Elric is trying to jam leaves down your throat. <coughs> like that. I'm going to try and stop him so I can chew whatever's in my mouth. You do so. I'm awake, I'm awake. The beat night will come over about three, make sure everyone is okay, and kind of kind of urge everyone to let's keep going if we're okay. Technically, Teppy's not on the board anymore. Let me cross that off initiative. <laughs> well, um, Ophelia, it is your turn. You, you feel something drop behind you as this zombie behind you just collapses to the ground with arrows in it by this guard. He just simply turns to you and screams out, I'M SORRY! And runs around to the other zombie who's over here. I just stare blankly. Um, all is forgiven? <coughs> um... I am going to use Elric as a human shield and just stay behind him. Okay. You put me behind you. So, there we go. I moved a negative step. <laughs> <laughs> The, the beat knight's going to do his best to kind of half collect you guys, like he did with Teppy. And I can do a, five, a, a minor five more mo more steps. Two, three. I'm going to stop you right here, short, as the zombie is still attracted to you guys. Kyrie's still doing her best to book it. You can see the gates. You are, you are practically there. Kyrie's going to book it ten. One, two, three. She's going around this fissure. I'll space four, five, six to get around this zembel. Seven, eight, nine... Stop right here at 10. Ophelia. I am concerned about all these fissures. Ophelia pretty much walked around all, but you can tell there's probably one. What about me? 
Technically, it's your turn. I will give you disadvantage, you know, and Kyrie kind of went first. Because you are not in a good way right now. Uh. <coughs> Unless you want to muddle with the group like the Beat Knight was doing. I will just muddle with the group and use everyone as human shields. Alright, the Beat Knight's taking over initiative. <coughs> and book it at ten. One, two, three, four, five. Do the same. Everyone's pretty much going to wind up. Uh, the Beat Knight's going to roll a strength check real quick. And an attack roll. Perfect. Perfect. The Beat Knight butts this zombie out of the way. Practically smashes him up against the wall. Just butting past him with you guys. And everyone's right here. He just needs to roll one more acrobatics and you're essentially out. Okay, he makes it. Looks back to almost offer help to anybody. Just gonna go ahead and roll for the beat knight. He's good. I've got 19. Perfect. Fifteen. Perfect. You make it out the gigantic open doors. You are essentially out of Shamor. Well, the sky is still a mess, but it does not appear any zombies have made it outside of the walls yet. But you do not stop running until you are quite a ways away from the city, until like the underbrush and the edge of the thicket. With that, everyone collects themselves. And Kyrie looks to you, Elric, and says, well, where the heck are we going? We need to head back to where we started. It's a two-day walk from here. If that's what you decide, she's all for it. But before anything else, I pay my respects to Tepi. You do so by yourself. Unless... It doesn't matter. It's still respectful. Well, sorry, the beat knight will join in. Okay. So, unless you guys want to point anything else, you will make your way back to Boar's Wood. It is quite a few days' travel. You hop a boat, head back to Boar's Wood. Kyrie does not strike up conversation. She is not interested in striking up conversation, but she also has the gem the entire time and is not willing to hand it over. It's a shame my dragon's a vegetarian or I'd have him eat you. Yeah, your dragon was a no-show even when we left the town. As a side note, I am slightly worried about my pet dragon. You, I, I will go ahead and say that since then, you have whistled and your dragon has been overhead since, but has not stopped by, but you believe something about the storm or whatever the chaos was going on probably messed with it. You make it back to the settlement. Kyrie kind of is somewhat impressed by this band and settlement of thieves. And Elric, as far as you know, you are kind of supposed, somewhat supposed to meet Cal at, you know, the Victor's Chalice, the inn. For payment and trade off and whatever it was. Right. Do we head straight there? We do. Right. Well, here, Ophelia, it is a yeah. very, very interesting looking bar. Everyone heads in. Ophelia, you remember this would have been the bar you walked in and was promised adventure before you don't remember anything and woke up in a coffin. Can I pause for just a moment, guys? Mm-hmm. All right.